Here's a little something that blew people's minds at the boardroom show this weekend. After I was done shaping, a whole bunch of people were asking me why I set my blank on a single stand like that, centered, to measure my rocker. The reason is simple. The weight of the rocker bar on the blank will distort those rocker numbers. So I like to shape at a minimum of an eighth of an inch tolerance. I usually strive for a sixteenth of an inch. I'm using a computer shape here just to show you because a lot of people think computer shapes are so great. Here we go. 2.2 tail rocker, which is actually right on with my spec sheet. 4.7 nose rocker. We check that here. Exactly 4.7. So this is, this is actually a good computer shape, it's true. But everybody was wondering why I don't level the blank and you gotta put a bubble on the, on the level and all that stuff. You don't. As long as the blank itself is relatively level and balancing under its own weight, you set the rocker bar at the exact center, it doesn't really matter if you move the board itself up or down. The rocker bar stays at the 2.2. And in almost every case, that will stay true. You don't have to level that rocker bar. This is hard for people to grasp, but you try it and you see for yourself, 2.2, no matter what. As long as I'm within that balancing point of the blank itself and my rocker bars on the center, I'm good. So that's spot on, right? But watch what happens when I put it on four points. This is a thick board and that rocker bar is ultra light. So it really shouldn't, it seems like it shouldn't make a difference. But look at that. We lost an eighth of an inch of rocker just on the weight of this aluminum rocker bar pressing down on it. So if I was shaping, measuring this way, I am going to be off by at least an eighth of an inch. So if you don't believe me, here we go. Nose rocker. It's perfect on the nose. It's 4.7, but all the stresses went to the tail and flattened that, that out a little bit. So right where you really need it, it's wrong. So basically, if you want to take your shaping to the highest level, you have to measure correctly. And the traditional way of balancing on four points is just, it's not right. There's too much deflection. And if your boards are really thin or your foam is really lightweight foam, you're going to have over an eighth of an inch of change. And if you are measuring your finished product this way, what you're cataloging in your file is totally wrong and you'll never be able to reproduce that product because every blank is different, every stringler, stringer is different and sometimes your racks are spread apart more like mine are. So, the numbers don't lie. This doesn't lie. You measure it, you can see for yourself, it doesn't exactly change. It stays perfect as long as you're relatively neutral with the board. There we go. I hope that makes sense. I hope that, that clears some of it up. But be more accurate so you can be the best that you can be. It's important.